shots in round seven. They were the five of 18, Cotto four of 14. We're in the round eight of a schedule 12. And Miguel Cotto is not yet out of the fight. with fighting Floyd going down the stretch Floyd thinks so well when he's tired and this is going to be the challenge because often Miguel has fell apart at this stage mentally well we've seen two excellent adjustments so far in the fight by Mayweather early on he started sweeping the right hand landing it around Cotto's left glove the guard which was up against his chin and then now in the last minute those four left hand uppercuts along the ropes that Cotto makes his mark too what a determined effort by Miguel Cotto. Big sucks by Cotto. Mayweather landing back, but Cotto is the one who's putting hard leather on his man. This fight is even it up. Mayweather hasn't lost a round this clearly and solidly for some time. A clear win in this round for Miguel Cotto. And there may be scorecards here that have the fight even at this point. And discomfort for Floyd, something that he's not used to. High drama in Las Vegas. Copy box numbers in eight. Mayweather 13 of 75. Cotto of 20 of 65. Three rounds in a row that Cotto has won on Harold stop, Letterman's stop, card. Stop, stop. When was the last time on any scorecard anywhere that Mayweather lost three rounds in a row? Cotto's body shots in that round began to sound like Canelo Alvarez's body shots against Shane Mosley. Yeah, but he hasn't really been that effective getting Floyd's body twisted enough to the center where he can effectively hit him to the body. But it's just the pressure that he's putting on Floyd and when Floyd can't do much himself. Mayweather jab by Cotto. Mayweather with a body shot. Now Cotto is fighting off the ropes. This is a, a real crowd-pleasing fight. I got you, I got you. Regardless of the score. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's the most crowd-pleasing fight of Floyd Mayweather's career. Well, you know, I haven't had, saw him have to do this in, since, since he was an amateur. To make the Olympic team, he had to win a fight like this with a guy named August Sanchez. And, uh, he, and he came through when he had to. But I have not seen him have to do this as a professional fighter. Toughest fight was Jose Luis Castillo, the first fight. But never in this level right here. What is a better fighter tonight than Castillo was in that first fight? You know, and, but it, Floyd it, is still dangerous in these late rounds. He thinks too well, too. You know, and that left uppercut again. Yep. He went and missed with those. Just with the right hand at the end. Cotto's confident as he walks back to his corner with a little bit of a lilt in his gait. 
CompuBox total numbers through nine rounds tell the story of a fight being controlled by Floyd Mayweather. He's landed 136 punches by CompuBox count, only 87 for Cotto. But that's not what the crowd sees, and it may not be what the judges see. Harold, how do you have it through okay, nine? Okay, Jim, I got it. 87, 84, six rounds to three, Floyd Mayweather. But you know, some, some Jim, I'm really disappointed in Miguel Cotto because in round, in round nine, when he could have just closed up this fight, made it as close as possible, he didn't fight. He didn't fight the ninth round, and it killed him. I mean, he'd be, I would have gone out there and punched like a son of a gun around nine, and Cotto gave it up, and it's a damn shame. Six to three, Floyd Mayweather. Frankly, he might have been exhausted. This is a tremendous physical effort for 31-year-old Miguel Cotto, who's been through so many wars, has had so many more difficult rounds in the ring than has Floyd Mayweather. That's very, very true, Jim. You know, those two Honestly, gun monster beatings by Margarito and Pacquiao. But he's fought back from them, and he's fighting back here, and he trusts his new trainer. Stop, stop, and, stop, stop, uh, stop. We'll see if the stamina problems that have bedeviled him in the past um, do here in the last third of the fight. You know, even though he lost in the ground, I don't know about the two fights with Margarita and the fight with Manny Pacquiao, he still suffered a lot of punishment in the fight with Cardi and with Zab Judah. Yeah, but, you know. And to some degree with Mosley. He took a lot of punishment. And Torres, what he was into. He's had a lot of rough fights. I don't see any lack of will. Anything that's happened to him in the past that's relevant to what's happening here tonight I agree. he's he's stop 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 he's fighting as hard as he can he's making puerto rico proud lands the left you could say he's making floyd earn his 40 or 45 million dollars great job with his <laughs> left glove blocking those right hands now floyd lands the left so Floyd is still, as I said earlier, is very, very good going down the stretch because his ability to fight. I mean, all of those punches that, that Miguel is on, very, very few punches land clean. It created excitement. But outside of the jabs, it's very few punches land really clean and that effectively. Judges are more likely, even the best judges, to score what you throw more than what you land. It's very hard to see on the fly which punches land cleanly and which ones don't. We have the advantage of the television camera. Two rounds to go. Championship rounds for two championship fighters. Mayweather now safely in a four-point lead on Harold Letterman's scorecard. Great right hand by Mayweather. Mayweather's stamina over the course of long fights throughout his career has been nearly incredible. Sometimes he seems better in the 10th, 11th, and 12th. But here... He appears to have had something taken out of him by the fight, just like Cotto. Well, this is an experience that Floyd has not had to experience too much as a professional fighter. Particular, particular 12 rounds. A bigger, physical fighter who is getting to him from time to time. You know, as for the whole point, you know, this is just Floyd's fifth fight since he fought. He hasn't taken a lot of punishment in his career, but he's 35, and maybe some of this is because he is 35. Stop, 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 stop. It makes the prospect for Mayweather, assuming he wins tonight, of a matchup with 21-year-old Canelo Alvarez seem all that much more tantalizing. Jim, I asked Oscar De La Hoya about that no, 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 no. after the fight, and he said he didn't think Alvarez 
was ready. Yeah. Well, and he's Alvarez's promoter, right. so that tells you a lot. That makes sense. I think most of us believe if Canelo does that, it's for the money. Well, it, it is professional price fighting. What people have in mind, uh, Fernando Vargas and Trinidad, and they, they don't really want to see a young fighter get outclassed or outpunched. Trinidad was a commit to the target, thunderous power puncher. Boyd's more of a pure boxer and a brilliant one. Great left hook, just missed. slowing down here in the 11th round. Mayweather beginning to take charge again. Stop, 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 stop. Quick left hook landed for Mayweather. Another foot check hook that knocked out Ricky Hatton. This round, Mayweather landed 13 out of 33 power shots. That's the largest number of punches of that kind that he's landed in the fight since the fifth round. A sign that his extraordinary stamina is surfacing once again. Like lifeboat, yep. it carries him through. His physical and mental stamina. Stop, 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 stop. Tony Weeks has done a great job. Toto and Mayweather are chatting with each other now. Fans are so unused to seeing Mayweather in a hard fight and bleeding that they are really excited about this. Does Cotto have enough left for Two minutes to the finish line. And on he keeps coming. Well, nobody doubted that Miguel Cotto would try his best and give it everything he had. Nobody would have doubted that. That has certainly come to the fore. But on the other hand, technical skill wins prize fights. Or as the Mayweathers like to say, skills pay the bills. And his skills are still superior. He must have some big bills. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> for, for all, all the money he's making. Thunderous body shots there by Cotto. Trying to make one last statement in the fight. Cotto is staggered by that uppercut. Almost fell forward. Floyd thinks so well going down the stretch. His mind is sharp at all times. And I think that's the advantage he's got right here at this stage. Cotto wants to get back right now. He knows that the crowd saw that was the most badly hurt he's been in the fight. That saying. uppercut. And there's another left uppercut for Mayweather. He's having a huge stroke run. It's interesting that Floyd didn't go all out for the knockout, but I think he's very satisfied feeling that he, he's got a decision wrapped up now, and he's going to just play it safe tick off the clock, so to say. Going for the knockout would have introduced an element of risk. Yes. With which his 42 and 0 record is not comfortable. Uh, he will open the door and go through the door, but he's not going to barge into the room. If he wanted to, I think he could have finished off. The bell sounds. It was a terrific prize fight, and 